Hi everyone, I just want to give a heads up um, for people who are going to be subscribing for today um, with the Glamour Crystal Box. If you do subscribe to um, to the six months, um, there is going to be a free access okay, to um, the extended uh, uh, reading um, which will be sent together inside uh, the box if you subscribe um, but you would have you would need to use um, the code which is going to be flashing underneath there and it's uh, um, spelled as Asuria S-Y-S-U-R-Y-A um, as I said I celebrate um, this auspicious day um, which is uh, Banus of Tami um, you know in Hindu it is the day when um, you know the sun god Surya um, appeared um, in front of the seven horses and um, I just want to share this wonderful energy which, uh, you know, together with everybody um, and the way that I can do it is like, you know, to reach out, um, you know, giving them um, something, you know, um, free, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, um, so make sure um, if you're subscribing to the six months, just use that code so that um, you will get a, a code inside the box um, when we ship out. Again, um, we do ship out, on, if, if you see it, um, if you order on June, um, it gets a ship out on July, and it is a lim The code is only be um, limited. Um, so if you know, it's like first come, first serve. So whoever um, use it, and uh, there is gonna be a limit to it. So you know, it's like it's for anybody who wants to um, to get the code for the daily extended reading. Okay, have a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, Sunday if you're watching this on a Sunday, and the code is gonna be uh, this. Um, video is going to be only for the next uh, 24 hours when my team uploads this um, and then it's going to be gone so just to give you guys heads up so if you see the code you know screenshot it or write it down so you don't forget it um, but this video will be um, deleted in the next 24 hours bye hi everyone this is just a trial so don't get too attached detach already because this may be the only time that I'm going to do this <laughs> okay it may or may not be Okay, we'll see how it goes as it takes a lot of energy already from things that I do. But I do hope that you support this. So once you have received this message, it will self-destruct. I'm kidding, guys. This is your astrology. Okay, so um, welcome to the channel. Um, as, as far as like everyone knows, I'm an I'm a, I'm a, a astrology enthusiast. And, you know, as far as I say, like, you know, it's like I do see stuff, I might as well share it. Okay, so this is gonna be your Vedic Sidereal Astrology um, for the week, okay? Sal is being ambitious, okay? <laughs> for the week! Okay, this is the intro, okay? So we will start from the 10th all the way to the 15th just because the 15th is a special day because there's gonna be the sun moving already um, to the house of Gemini, to the zodiac sign of Gemini, okay? As far as also another house. Um, so welcome and stay tuned. We're going to be discussing form the ascendant and at the same time I will explain how this works and how it can help you. If you are watching this and you don't know your sidereal chart, okay, your Vedic sidereal chart, I will be putting the link down there. I'm not associated with the app but that's what I use so it might help you. Um, you know, it's Cosmic Insights and, you know, it's like, that's what I use. Uh, so I'll use it, you don't use it. If you know your chart, Vedic, Sideo, then that's awesome already. And, but what you would need to do is you can't just download it without knowing your place, time of birth, uh, place, time of birth. Of course, the date, okay? Hopefully you know that, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so you would need those information. And chances are, if you don't know the time, it is safe to say, I believe you can use a 12 o'clock, okay, but then it might be a little tricky. Just use your Chandra Lagna, I mean, just use the moon, not the rising sign, okay. So let me explain again. If you are going to be watching this from your sun sign, okay, it would be helpful for your soul journey. So apply it from within. If you are watching this from your rising sign, apply it to your physical form, which is your physical body, okay, as far as that's the rising. And then, if you are watching this from your moon sign, apply it to your head and how it thinks. And of course, how it feels. Both are in combination. And how I put it together, in simple terms, those three are your mind, body, and spirit. 
which is, you know, that's how it is. Okay? But we want to call it, you know, sun, moon, rising instead of mind, body, and spirit. Okay? So now that you know that and you have downloaded, you know, it's like, and you know already your chart, first, we're going to be starting um, as, a, as a general energy for this week. And then we would go through, okay, the rising signs. So, but you can watch this based on your ascendant, your sun, you're gonna do whatever you want anyway, right? You're gonna keep clicking until you find that information that you're looking for, correct? <laughs> so I can't control you in that one. So, all right, so now you have your, I'm gonna be doing this based on each uh, zodiac, but right now I'm, I'm, we're gonna do the part where it's a general um, energy for the week. So listen carefully as this would be helpful for the time that you are gonna be experiencing um, um, for this week, as far as like the planets and is concerned. Okay. So, energetically for the whole week, this is what I'm seeing. Okay. There's going to be a lot of passion to couple. Oh my god, I'm giggling over here. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> I'm a very different <laughs> person when I read. So yes, there's going to be a lot of energy to, um, to couple. A lot of people are going to decide already. A lot of people, I feel like it's more to decide to be together. Okay, just to be honest. If you're looking for that uh, romantic connection. Um, I feel here as a general energy, communications are going to be very out there in the open, which will give us an opening um, to either do we like these people, this, uh, you know, the associates that we, that we bring, our friends, a romantic connection it's all open okay so it's almost like an open heart surgery from what I'm looking at and then it's like what you see inside it's like a golden heart so you will see those three people that are who really are sincere who really cares about you um, they're gonna be there for you if not then it's you know there is gonna be some sort of revelation okay and then chances are with your uh, with your own decision you might severe tie so um, very important right now is about connection on different level whatever you have it's like your friends siblings your kids you know so those are all um, in high time all right but besides that romantic connection is very very much everywhere from what i'm seeing here um as a general energy also i feel here there's a lot of uh, intense um how do you call this uh um not disturbance but delay with regards to travel so don't expect yourself if you're traveling this week to have a fruitful Kind of like, you know, it's like, oh, everything is just going to be fine. No, it's not. I don't think so. Okay? So just be cautious. You might be late for your, uh, how do you say this? You might be late for um, for your work, for your, um, how do you call this? If you're going on vacation, so make sure that you do live ahead of time. This is one, one thing that I'm seeing. Um, also, uh, I'm seeing here that there can be a time where you might feel that you are trying to um, how to say this, uh, you know, it's like you're listening to some sort of advice um, to other people. Uh, make sure that whoever you're consulting is a person that you trust and not that a person, um, you know, it's like, like only listen to, I mean, it's very basic, of course, it's general energy, but make sure if you're seeking advice, then only choose to those people that you have pure and 100% trust and then you can listen to them. So those are significant. I'm seeing here also as a general energy, um, if um, you know it's been it's been rampant it's evident already that technology has been haywire it is not it's not like a mercury retrograde kind of haywire it's just like things just start breaking down and needs to be replaced those are generic energy with regards to technology a lot of um, probably we will see um, multifunctioning of I don't know um, some sort of online stuff and other things that you do with regards to um, dealing with uh, um, with the internet, so that's gonna be a little bit of a uh, trouble. So if you do have a business online, so you know, it's like just expect some sort of um, problem. Um, anything else that I'm seeing here? I feel like that's more of the generic uh, energy that we are seeing for this week. Um, so that would be from 10 to the 15. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's 10 to the 15. Those are the energies. Now we are gonna be proceeding to. Um, each uh, zodiac and stay tuned. These are going to be based 
from your rising sign, however, I know people are stubborn. They're still gonna follow their Western, uh, Western chart and still watch whatever sign that they want, but I just hope this helped. That's it, okay? <laughs> so make sure if it helps, put it in the comments page. Yeah, <laughs> just this is just this is really just for fun. I'm just having fun with you guys so that you guys can can have something to help you during this week. Alrighty, stay tuned. Hi Taurus. So this is gonna be for the uh, Taurus ascendant or the Taurus moon. But of course, the Sun people who refuse to get their chart will still watch this. Okay, please get your chart. Okay, <laughs> now are we ready? Um, so we're gonna go through the days and then just um. Follow me like a bouncing ball, okay? So, um, Taurus, on June 10, I feel here there's a heartache, Taurus. You feel heartbroken. Oh, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something could have been uh, like a past issue being brought up in the surface and you might feel like a very heavy, heavy um, stuff. So be careful on, you know, it's like starting your day. So make sure you are cool, calm, collected on the 10th. Um, so I'm not sure what, who's breaking your heart, your achy, breaky heart. Okay, I'm seeing here also on the 10th, um, you have an energy where um, you might, um, you know how they say, you know, it's like you let, you let the bull run around in the China, China store, something like that. So be careful with, um, you know, it's like accidentally bumping to something accidentally, but it's an accident. So that's what I'm saying. It's like, be careful on like, you know, it's like you might just move and then, you know, it's like you break already something. You know, Sammy. So be careful. Um, so, because I see here there is a bunch of energy about like accidents, basically. Okay. So be watchful of how you move on the tenth. I'm seeing here also that you have on the tenth um, some sort of uh, cycle that you are trying to to get away from. Um, it's a perfect time for you to quit some sort of vices. I'm seeing it here. Um, with regards to this advice, like it's like, for example, it's like you, you just like to eat sugar, you know, it's a perfect time to start a diet. I'm seeing here with regards to that energy. Um, there can be um, a new um, place that you're checking out to do some sort of new exercise, a new routine, and it's going to be very, very good for you. And on the 12th, I'm seeing here that you probably would want to see um, and consult, okay? Um, others are consulting astrologers here on the 12th. I'm not sure what's going on, okay? but you're consulting someone, a reader or astrologer. Um, there's also a time here, uh, Taurus, where you are, I feel like you are waiting for an opportunity and the deadline is coming soon. I feel like it's some sort of paperwork that you are um, waiting and this paperwork involves, it, it's almost like, oh, it's like I'm waiting for this big, big opportunity. It can be like a big job. A, it's not pay raise. But it's like a paperwork that you have been waiting for to come towards you and it's almost there. You're about to get a good news. I'm seeing here also that you you might want to check um, your tires on the 12. You know, I see here that there's some sort of tire problem with your car. So check that out. Um, if you are also... Um, um, the 12, I'm seeing here, be careful of what you eat. I sense diarrhea. Okay. Don't ask me why, how I see this, okay. <laughs> On the 13th, okay, I'm seeing here that there is a chance and progress if you are doing some sort of cosmetic, okay. What are you doing, Taurus? Cosmetic beautification in your face, it is gonna be, I feel it's good over here. So, I don't know, I'm seeing here breast augmenta augmentation, like you wanna get your boobies done, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm still calling it boobies. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, it's good. It's good if you're considering it. You know, it's like you know, to each its own. You know, but I'm seeing here progress with regards to um, your looks. Okay, and I'm seeing here it's like you are looking gorgeous over here. Of course, the bros. You're looking handsome. Of course, I know the bros also look, <laughs> watch this channel. So I'm seeing here. Yes, it's good for you for that day um, to seek um, cosmetic, uh, some sort of cosmic, uh, cosmetic something. Okay. Um, there is someone, um, you might bump into an old friend over here, and this old friend, okay, no, literally, Taurus, they're older than you, okay? <laughs> so an old friend, older than you, you haven't spoken to, they have an important message, and it's a good time to catch up with this person, okay? That's on the 13th. Now, on the, hmm, where's the, hold on, okay. Alrighty, on the 14th, 
Um, Taurus, I see here that, um, let me see what's going on. Um, you might want to check the balance on your account okay, with regards to your debit card or things that you have been spending. I feel like you have accidentally, um, I guess, um, you know, I'm seeing here overdraft. Someone got overdraft over here. Um, there has been some sort of secret that you might, uh, you might find out that the person that you're dealing with, you know, it's like romantically, they're in love <laughs> to you. Okay. And they've been hiding these feelings from you for quite some time now. Uh, I'm seeing here if you're in the age of 30 to 44, it's a perfect time for you to invest. Um, you know, I don't know what you're trying to invest towards, but you know, it's a perfect time for you to invest between 30 to, you know, to, to uh, 44. And energetically, I feel here that you have, um, you have a big chance also to win a little bit something if you were, you know, to gamble. <laughs> Don't advise it, but it's you know it's good if you you know like you know just get some sort of lottery ticket. I feel here, um, it's gonna be a, it's a good time for you to do that. Um, there's gonna be a lot of um, parties that you are gonna be invited also here under fifteen. Um, the invitation is coming, but it's a future uh, how do you say it? it's a future event that you are gonna go to. Okay, so that's what I can see here all the way to fifteen. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope this helped. You know, we're just trying this out, so. It may be the last, you know, it's like, I'm just trying this out. Okay, bye.